Hey everybody, Mary and the Barbarian here. We've got a great shave for you today. I'm pretty much going to do Murphy and McNeil until I run out of the samples. That's pretty much what I've said. I think next video is a TRC video, so y'all won't see that one here. Go check it out on TRC whenever it pops up. And uh, the way I do the Murphy and McNeil samples is I reach in the box and I grab one. We are using Kales, K-E-L-L-S. Um, this is a Dupa Sauvage. We'll put up the base ingredients. Scent notes, all that good stuff. But the uh, early on labels of Murphy and McNeil are all like black and white, except for the Kodiak releases had color of some form. And um, it's in the Aeon base. But they are all kind of Celtic design, which is kind of cool. We are using the Samogue horsehair that I got. I'll put the price in the listing up. I can't remember. I think it was like $17.99. Now I'll tell you guys, I cleaned it up. I soaked it, I cleaned it with the PAA brush cleaner, I left it in there sitting overnight, then rinsed it out, and I still have a bit of a, a funky wet animal smell. Um, lost hairs when cleaning it, appear to have snapped hairs while lathering, it doesn't want to splay well, but I did soak this thing for like 15 minutes, so it should have been good. But we're going to go ahead and kind of... Scrub it a little, lift the hairs. This brush does not splay like I would like. It sprays, it splays a little like a crappy uh, synthetic that was set a little too low. Um, hasn't been broken in. I may use it a little, you'll see it. Oh God, that's a snapped one, that didn't come out from the knot. It's not scritchy though. Like uh, my Vylongs have always been scritchy. The Samog isn't scritchy, but I don't like the splay on it. It's got a lot of backbone. Decent lather though. Expected that from the Aeon base. First time using this brush to lather. All right guys, we're using the Bayonetta from Goodfellas Smile. There's a little bit of tarnishing already. It's been sitting on my sink for a while. You'll see the little water dot that hit it. But anyways, I will put the specs up right now. Now, I'll tell you, this was lighter than the copper cant was. The coloring's a little closer because they've been sitting out, but this was a lighter brass color than the copper cant, and both of those are lighter than this, so I'll put up whatever brass the Bayonetta was made out of. Then we'll put up the copper cap brass, and I don't think they listed what kind of brass it was for the uh, carb razors. We do have a pole silver in here because that's what was close, and they're a lot like Wizomet, and those are trusted blades for first use. Almost threw a Willys in there because I've been having a good time with Willys, but I don't know those blades like I know a pole silver or a Wizomet. Really nice shave. It's kind of been weird going back to shaving the chin. Because I kind of don't know how to approach the shave. And if you must know, <laughs> my chin is where the thickest growth is. And I'll probably be growing this back starting middle of the week. The goatee. Both of my kids complained that they missed the goatee. They liked this hair short when it was coming back because it was fuzzy. But the goatee's got to come back. If they would have cried when I shaved my goatee. It would have been coming back immediately. Appears to be getting underneath the nose well. Does have positive blade exposure, which is a good thing. 
I wonder what size knot this is. It's 18 to 20. I guarantee it's not bigger than 20. Oh, there was a little bit of a broken hair in that lather. We'll see if we can fix that, you know. Hopefully they stop snapping. Maybe I need to hydrate longer. I don't know, but... I have boar brushes I soaked that long and I don't have to worry about the hair snapping. At least my Omegas and some Moog. Um, my artisan ones, they snap. They were treated. They, they snap all the time. Doesn't matter what. That's really nice. You get to that against the grain, you're like, oh, okay, that's good. A lot of things feel fine with the grain. It's when you get against the grain. But you can feel what you don't like. More so with a uh, straight razor, I would say, but. Like if this felt aggressive, I might have cut that spot right there. Did have been healing? And if I go, I try to go shorter strokes right there. I did. I nicked right where that is. The skin is a little thicker in areas from the scarring. And I think that could have been it. I did the same thing right there. Huh. Hmm. Then maybe that's not the excuse. Maybe I just... Poor technique. We'll just say I'm not used to shaving that area. Okay, that's what we'll say. Corners of the mouth. Oh well. well I'll throw some alum on it, we'll be okay. All in all guys, that's a pretty good looking razor. It's shaved well. This is definitely on me. I'm not putting that on the razor. You know the drill? Rinse up. We'll be right back. All right, we are good. Lips are drawing in. Had a little bit of alum on them. All right, guys. Murphy McNeil. Kells. Um, Dupa Sauvage. I should have started the video. I'm very happy. If you haven't heard, Murphy and McNeil has dropped their uh, price of their soap. Their splashes, everything considerably. They want to be known as the best value in wet shaving. And they are well on their way there. This is great scent. Smells very similar to the Kells. Um, Murphy and McNeil has really nice splash bottles. They have a clear colored splash. It's not milky. Um, very pretty bottles. I, I like Murphy and McNeil's. Um, presentation shall I say we got a pretty close shave could have gotten a little closer like right in this area maybe a little closer right here but this area I'm trying to train to get used to being shaved it hasn't been shaved in over a year but I think that's it <clears throat> some more guys you're gonna see it a little bit more I've got another horse hair I'm gonna use so it's pretty much gonna be between these two for a while just breaking them in seeing how they perform got a feeling this one's gonna feel better on the skin not have as much backbone and splay like I like, but we're going to see if we can break this cheap little brush into something that's, you know, enjoyable to use. That's how we'll put it. All right, guys, you know the drill. If you made it this far, consider subscribing, liking the video, and hit that noti bell. We will catch you next shave.